But what is the paper that we did that is so offensive? It's a paper that was published in 2021, last year, and asking a very simple question, how much has the sun's influence northern hemisphere temperature record? We say an ongoing debate. Probably that the paper is so well downloaded that 28,000 download already for science is highly and you'll be lucky if there are 10 people reading your paper, right? Now it's 28,000. I think you just don't like it, you know? And uh, look at that. We got 23 co-authors. Professor Legate is one of them. And from 14 countries, and this paper is so large that I think you get a headache. It's 530 references. Because we're very serious in our scientific scholarship. That's what is required. You know, and then you show all your doubt and all your uncertainties. You've got to have it all in open display and tell people, okay, instead of hiding all the time. Now, the last point. It's about, well, I contend that uh, global warming is not caused by CO2, but it's caused by the sun. Thank God, Wikipedia finally got one correct. <laughs> That's okay, let me put that statement, right? Now I want to explain this. Okay. Please, now we really have to spend time to look at this graph. Please be careful. On the left here, what is this? This is the observed temperature record, northern hemisphere, land temperature record, but combining the rural station and the urban station. Remember, I tell you, urban heat island problem is real a problem, not resolved. Okay? Very hard to quantify, but we are almost successful in doing that. We'll tell you later for US temperature record. Here's a record, and this is what is favored by IPCC. You notice that this urban problem can be a serious problem, so we say that why don't we construct a data that take only the rural station? Just even out of curiosity, aren't you curious? Why should you mix up apple and oranges and what do you call them, banana? I think it's a serious problem. We should really be careful. Scientists have to be careful. So we study the rural station. That's what we show on the right. Okay? Notice the difference? Don't, first of all, the, the long-term trend is about 30-40% less. Right? And then the temperature here is strictly warming. Now you have up warming, cooling, warming, cooling. More like an oscillation, more like a natural oscillation. Okay? And then let's look at how IPCC chose to explain this. The way IPCC chose to explain this, of course, is mostly, nearly all human cause. So they can show this. If you add the anthropogenic component, you get that curve. And then here's another view. Remember, when we publish a paper, we never say that, oh, you know, King Kong, you know, I know everything. We solve the problem. We say, please look at this alternative. There's a lot of issue need to study. So we say that it's mostly natural. Now you put the two together, and then you see, in terms of mostly natural cause, it's completely not ruled out. We show you that we can model this. The bottom part is the model, the top is actually that. It's pretty good. The, see, the whole issue is not settled. Please, it's not about showing off, it's not about all these things. It's about what is the true science say? What year is this now? 2021, we just published this paper. Because it takes a lot of work, a lot of thinking about how to make this right. That's why I'm glad that I invested all this time and then we we're able to publish this paper. 